Today on Par Folks, we are going to be trying Red Stag Jim Beam against one of our true favorites, at least I know it's mine, I think it's yours, I enjoy it. This was a Georgetown uh, bourbon, which was so heavily in a black cherry flavor that all of a sudden I saw this George, the, the Red Stag from Jim Beam and I thought, well let's try it. This is a, like black cherry infused Jim Beam. So we're going to give it a try, see what happens. Join us. Hello, welcome to Port Folks. I'm Seamus. I'm Sean. And today we, like I said, we are trying Georgetown Distilled Bourbon and Jim Beam Red Stag. <laughs> kind of a, <clears throat> this is kind of cheating because this is a true bourbon. This is not. This is not even 80 proof. I think it's 70 proof. 70. Okay. Yeah, 70 proof. So they basically take Jim Beam, infuse it with some black cherry flavor, and I don't know. It's kind of hard to find. I, I think they've got actually another version of the Red Stag too. Oh, I almost okay. bought it one time. I can't remember what it was. It's kind of got a black label, mm. um, but it has some different flavors. So I, I wanted to make sure I got the cherry flavor because I had wanted to try it against our Georgetown. If you saw our Georgetown video, it was the flavors on it were just so black cherry deep. I went to the distillery up there in Georgetown, and they made a, what they called a, I think it was a black cherry, black cherry old-fashioned, or oh, okay. black cherry old-fashioned, and I was like, where did they get the cherry flavor? I thought they added cherry juice. No, it's just the bourbon. So, anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's get to drinking. Definitely. I want to try these, see how they compare, see if this is even able to match the real flavors created in this one just based on color I'm yeah saying, no. <laughs> no but yeah. we're here to let you know <laughs> that's right now what i did find out on this georgetown they've got a newer they've got a newer uh release of this and it's only an 80 proof as opposed to this which is 90 proof oh i can just smell the dark fruit smell oh yeah oh, it smells so good man Georgetown was uh, very surprising for us. That color <laughs> difference is crazy. This looks like watered down apple juice yeah, compared to that one. Oh my gosh. Not even yeah. close. No. All right, we'll see what flake, fake flavor does. Right. <laughs> anyway, this is just a crazy episode here. We're just checking it out, seeing how <laughs> Red Stag stacks up against a real good product. All right. So well, I'll stag. No, I want to actually go to the Georgetown first because. Is there a reason that you want to go high to low? Because I want to. Like I want to revisit this. I've never had this before. Okay. I want to revisit this one. Okay. Which is the Georgetown, and then I'll come to this one and see how it compares. Okay. If I go here first, I'll be like, "What the heck is this?" And then I'll go to that one. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's go. Yeah, there it is. That's the one. And then. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it hits or misses. Okay. Because I know I'm going to love this. Yeah. I already know what I'm saying. Oh, just the smell of the dark fruit. Yeah. Man. From what I remember from the Georgetown is the oak is there, but it's it doesn't take uh, center stage. No. That cherry flavor really comes out. Yeah. I mean, it's just... This is, pro this is probably one of the most surprising bourbons we've had. It is a bourbon, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a bourbon, and it's totally, it's the most unique for sure. Yeah. I think by far. Just, yeah. And, I mean, I've heard the reviewers on other channels talk about the dark fruits. So. <laughs> they haven't had this one yet. Right. <laughs> this is dark fruit. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> if I'm picking it out, you know it's there. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't normally am able to pick it out. It's in the air. All right, I'm going to taste it. Okay. It's like a juice box, man. <laughs> Cherry juice box with a kick. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's so good. Mm. Yeah, it's smooth. There's a slight oak. Mm -hmm. Just the dark fruit cherry. Just enjoyable. Mm. Oh. Mm. 
Makes me weak in the knees. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. I'm kind of scared now. This is like, why? Why do we do this? That. That. Let's do it. No. It smells, uh, it smells much more sugary, but in an artificial way. For right. Sure. It smells like that dry erase marker, a red one. Oh. I swear. It's very stringent. It's got the sweetness in there. You're right. But yeah, it's, it's very saccharine or yeah. Splenda. Yeah, it's sort of <laughs> a fake, fake, fake sugar here. Yeah. It's a, you know what? I take that back. I don't know if you've ever been to a candy shop where they're making taffy or where they're yeah, like pulling it apart. Where they're pulling the yeah. Yeah. And you, you just get that super sugar smell. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. Okay. And you just smell the sugars. <clears throat> yeah. It's very intense. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna taste it. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> Tastes like a cherry soda. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's 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 oversweet. These oh. are the, the sweet aftertaste in your mouth. Easy to drink. Yeah. I mean, because it's like soda. Right. Oh. Yeah. Um. Like maraschino of cherry juice. Yeah. Um, what was the, like, early on Seagram's? Was that it? Oh, you're talking about the... Uh, <laughs> that 70 proof yeah, bottle uh, I had? That was the... Uh, uh, shoot. I, I believe that we... Um, didn't we compare it to, like... Like red Skittles or something? Yeah. Something like that. Oh, hold on. It won't come to me. Down south. Southern. Southern drink. Southern cover. Oh. Southern cover. There Thank we go. Thank you. Southern cover. You're right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, so Sean's thinking of Southern Comfort. <laughs> yes. Southern cover. Yes. It's very Southern Comfort esque. Yes. It's that same overly sweet, yep. overly, overly added flavor yeah. to and mix with whiskey sure okay it, i would say this is better than southern comfort yes i don't remember what we compared southern comfort to if it was like red skittles i think or, it was like cotton candy I yeah think. like cotton candy like dissolves in yeah, water exactly. that's that's what it seemed like just yeah. a full thing of cotton candy yeah. in some whiskey some weak whiskey yeah yeah this is this is slightly better than that but it doesn't compare to the georgetown this would probably be a good mixer. Yeah. For I don't know what. If you want to get some black cherry going without the uh, in the actual juice or something, I don't know. Dang it. Yeah, it's just not good. It's way too sweet. Horrible aftertaste. Yeah, way too sweet. Yeah. It's much less artificial but, on the taste right. than I was expecting. I think this is. It was thirteen. To, it was under twenty bucks. Oh, that's good. For sure. Good. <laughs> for sure. Oh, <laughs> we just bought a smaller, smaller bottle now. Yeah. <laughs> but and with that, I have to say, it was kind of hard to find for a little bit. I did have a hard time getting a hold of it. Anyway, doesn't even compare. No. If you want a real good, deep fruit, chalk, black cherry flavored whiskey, yeah. Georgetown is the way to go. Oh yeah. Um, I think you can order it online. GeorgetownWhiskey.com, maybe. Distillery or something like that. Um, I'll try to put a link down below. Um, maybe I'll come up with some cocktails for that and just see. Maybe we can compare them. Uh, old Fashions or something. Yeah. I think it's not even comparable. Well, Old Fashioned will put some... Uh... But you're talking about putting more sugar in this thing. 
<laughs> oh, no, Mark. With an old fashioned, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. you mix this with an old fashioned and you're just adding some sugar and some a little bit of spices and some bitters. You might have. Excuse me. I might have to add like a shot of this and then just a shot of like regular old Jim Beam. Yeah. Because that's not enough whiskey for yeah. an old fashioned. Maybe that in some Coke, regular Coke, and you make it a cherry Coke. And beam. <laughs> you could just do cherry Coke. Well, yeah, I mean, you could do cherry Coke and beam, or you could do some regular Coke and this. Right. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. You guys know? What What do you guys, does anybody drink oh. this? Does anybody mix that? What do you do? Let us know, because now I'm not sure. That That's actually drainable. Yeah, that's sort of where I'm leaning to. I think it would be it would make a good mixer. We'll have to do some research. Yeah, but I mean, but. like I, like I remember when we did the flavored uh, Jamesons. Oh yeah, those were horrible, and this one's right up there with it. I think. Yeah, I don't want to finish that. No, I don't think I will. Either. I'm gonna finish the Georgetown. Yes. Well, there you go. Uh, we tried it. Yeah. Had an idea. It's certainly not surprising. Didn't pay off, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. I mean, did I really expect anything different? I guess not. Yeah. I was hoping maybe that this might be a little bit better. Yeah. But uh, don't waste your time and money. Yeah. Yeah, unless you really like it, then you yeah. have at it. Or unless you want to use it as a mixer. Right. You got some crazy right. idea. But yeah. if you want to drink it neat, Georgetown's yeah. the way to exactly. go, clearly. Oh, for sure. This is the best. Yeah. Anyway, let us know what you think. Yes. Like and subscribe. And uh, I'm not sure where we're at anywhere, because this could right. be anywhere. Right. <laughs> so, so. Anyway, like, like I said, like and subscribe. Shlanta to your health. See you later.